Hey everyone, Corey here with you for Dr. Marketing Tips and I wanted to take a few minutes and kind of walk through ways to create a form. That's something that we get asked a lot at Dr. Marketing Tips, especially where patient satisfaction is concerned and there's, you know, obviously a pretty big emphasis on that this year and moving forward. So what you see on the screen is actually my personal Google account. And uh, if you don't have one of those, you should. Um, but uh, this is, I think, one of the easiest and best ways to create a form and um, keep track of all of the responses. It's very easy to do. So I'm going to walk you through that here in the next couple of minutes. And Remember that if there is no identifiable patient data, uh, then this is a perfectly viable source to create a form. If you are going to have any sort of identifiable patient data, there are some paid options that you can do that we're not really going to go over in this webinar. But if you're interested in those, you can shoot me an email at uh, Corey at DrMarketingTips.com and I will gladly share those with you. So. Let's go ahead and jump in. So what you see here, like I said, is my personal Google account. And if you notice up here in the address bar, this is actually drive.google.com. So if you type that in to your address bar, your wind up at a page looks similar to this. On the left side over here, you're gonna wanna click new and head down and create a Google form. Simple as that. So here is your basic form, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill in some of these spots. You obviously want to title your form, patient satisfaction, okay? And then you'll see, let's jump right into the um, couple of options here. The form settings, this, is, this bar will fill in as they're answering questions if you've got quite a long survey but you know typically medical offices we see they have you know eight to ten questions so i don't know if that's something that you really need or won't want to check right there um only allow room response per person which would require a login again i don't think that's something that we're, we really have to worry about for our forms here shelf question order that's uh, up to you, personal preference, whether you have a specific order you want to answer the uh, questions in or not. And down here, moving into the question, so here's obviously where you would, um, you know, type your type your question for the form. Um, let's go with uh, what did you think of your service at your most recent appointment? All right, so now we have the option here to see question type. So we've got a multiple choice option. So, you know, we could just say it was excellent, it was good, et cetera, et cetera, poor. Then, uh, if you want, if you want to select different options, it's very easy with the question type. So multiple choice, and you'll see here, you can actually, by selecting text, you'll get a open form response where they'll actually type in their answer right here. Same thing with the paragraph, it's just a little bit longer. Then you've got your multiple choice, which is what we had just filled out. Check boxes so they can select more than one option if that's something that they're interested in doing. Um, you can choose from a list, so there's several different things listed here that they um, can select from. Scale, which I think is great to see these on the forms all the time. So scale, you want it to be one to ten. One being the, um, you know, one being the poor, ten being great. And what's great about Google Forms is, let's say you set this up as your first question, and you're like, well, I think I did it right, but I'm I'm not really sure. Go ahead and click done. You'll see it there. And if that's not enough for you to be sure. You can go ahead and this option right here, click view live form. It opens up a window and this is what your form looks like. So then you can see, oh, okay, that's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Hop back over and then you can make changes just like that. So to add another question, you just click the add item button here and this will be your next question. And again, you can go through the options here to select multiple question types. 
there's advanced settings um, again so what this would do is if you've got let's say five options here and you just select this uh, they will see the options in a different order I don't know if that's really necessary either for these forms um, that's a great thing about Google Forms is it gives you a lot of options they're very clear they're very laid out um, in an easy to read format uh, but for our purposes we don't really need to go too crazy with the customizations and such so once you get all your questions in here let's say you're happy with the way that the form is progressed and you know you're ready to kind of launch it so you don't want like I said if you hop over into here this is what the form looks like you don't want this blue background white it's very impersonal kind of looking so over here there's a change theme button and on the right side of your screen you'll see that you can switch up your theme I don't know if we want to go with a uh, carnival or a fair either uh, volleyball a uh, great time but it doesn't really make sense for some medical offices so scroll through these there's plenty of options and if you don't see anything that you like at the very top for your default theme you can always customize it and they actually have a pretty wide array of customization options as well you can choose your own header image so that would go right here and that could be your logo or a picture of your physician something along those lines uh, you can change the title the description you can even change the way that questions look let's say you know if you uh, want a different sort of font for your questions for whatever reason you can also customize that um, you've got different options for the text once you actually get into the forms you can change the form background color the page background if you don't want this nice sky blue here so it's it's very customizable which I personally love so that's basically how to set up the form and obviously the next most important part of creating the form is viewing the responses and what's great about Google Forms is it will dump all of the responses into your uh, Google Drive Sheets account so what that means is it will create a spreadsheet for you and at any point in time you can click the link go to the spreadsheet and everything will be itemized and customized by question for you and that's updated in real time so at any time you click that link you'll see all of the latest responses that are in there and to get there over here you'll see where it says responses it's got a zero because I'm obviously still creating this form no one has taken the survey just yet but if you click that you can get a summary of responses or right here this is what you will want to do right when you create the form is choose your response destination so when you select that uh, right now it's set to go to a new spreadsheet called patient satisfaction responses and if you click create that has just created a and you notice this button changed that has just created a Google sheet which is basically Google's version of Excel online that will categorize and keep all these responses for me so if I click that you'll see that it will open up the sheet here and you get a timestamp so you can see when the survey was filled out and here's the first question so obviously if there was more questions they would go along here and you can categorize all your responses like that and what's great about this is not only is it easy to check you just have to click a link and see what the responses are but if you ever need to present it for a report or you need to show a superior or a doctor or something like that go to file download as and bam right there is Microsoft Excel so you can just download this into a format that everyone is familiar and comfortable with and you can show real-time patient satisfaction data from your Google form and so that about wraps it up I think that uh, like I said Google forms is a wonderful and super easy way to create these online kind of living and breathing forms very easy to change very easy to uh, view responses on the fly uh, I, I think it's uh, a wonderful resource for medical practices again I'm Corey with doctor marketing tips you can always find us online at drmarketingtips.com or on Twitter at Dr. Marketing Tips. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly, Corey at drmarketingtips.com. And I want to say thank you guys for hanging out, and we'll talk to you soon.